In this video, we want to keep working with our student and gradebook example, um, talk about how we actually instantiate objects, look at how that works, and then also how the relationship between the arguments we pass into classes and members. So we wrote a class for our student. We haven't implemented some of these methods yet, but that's, that's fine. Uh, in some ways, what we want to demonstrate, it's not essential that we have implementations, though. I guess we go ahead and we can do, uh, do those. So the average for the full class, we're going to make it so that the quizzes are 10%. So the quiz average is 10% of the grade. And the assignment average is 50% of the grade and the test average is then the remaining 40% of the grade. And so that will work quite happily once we have these implemented. The test average and the assignment average will just be the averages. So now it's tempting to first say just test.sum divided by test.length. Uh, there are two issues with that. One, these are both integers, and so we're doing integer division. We actually want double division, so we need to put some place in here a two double on one of these values. The other issue is it turns out that if we don't have any test grades, if this is nil, we're going to do zero divided by zero, which is not going to be a happy grade. Uh, so we actually need to do something more intelligent there. So we're going to use an if as an expression here, if tests dot is empty, then I'm going to give back 0, 0, else we'll give back this formula here. That code is remarkably similar to what we want for our assignments. And so we'll do about the same thing here. For the quizzes, at least in my classes, I drop a quiz. So it's good to see how we could fit that into our formula. I'll also use an if as an expression. If quizzes is empty, well, I'll do the same thing, give back a zero by point zero. Else, if quizzes dot length equals equals one. Well then I'm just gonna go ahead and give back that grade. I can't drop the lowest grade if there are only if there is only one grade. And in the last case here we'll go ahead and calculate the average with the lowest one dropped. So how do we do that? Well we're gonna take quizzes dot sum minus quizzes dot min and we'll go ahead and convert that to a double and we will divide by quizzes dot length minus one okay actually Not happy with the auto formatting that it picks for that, but oh well. So there we go. Let's see if we can pull this over a little bit so you can see a little bit more of the screen. That gives us some implementations for those methods. So we have a somewhat functional student here. Let's come over and let's make some new students. So I'm just going to create a little list of students. We'll have Jane and John Doe as our two students. Okay. And then I want to print out some information about them. So def print 
student, I pass in a student that I'll just call S. This is just going to print stuff. So it returns unit. And what do I want to print? Well, I'd like to print their name as first name followed by a space followed by last name and then maybe just say about grade equals average. One thing to note, this isn't happy. Okay, and if you look at the error message, it says that the value is not a member. So when you pass in arguments here, by default these arguments are not actually members of the class. They Their values can be used for setting things up. We could put code inside of here that utilizes them, but they are not actually they do not have to be stored as members, and you cannot access them from outside. If we want to be able to get hold of them, we have to make them either vowels or vars. So just, it turns out we could also put declarations inside, but if I want to be able to access first name and last name, I probably want them to be vowels. I do not intend to change the student's name, and you'll note that that fixes our errors over here in Gradebook. and I was able to run it. it, didn't do anything, but it would do something if I write a for loop that goes through the students and calls print student. Now we run it, and there we go. So Jane Doe has a grade of zero and John Doe has a grade of zero because none of them have, neither of them have any grades at this point. Uh, so this is functioning code. Right now the quizzes, assignments, and tests are not members um, and I can't do anything with them. One of the things that we are lacking here is the ability to add grades and that's something that we probably should should have in our implementation. So we'll come back in the next video. We'll look at how, what we should really do with quizzes, assignments, and tests because we have some design decisions to make here. We should talk about how we're going to make this decision, and in some ways it's how we want to set up and build our entire piece of software.